Well, there are concerns about the safety of some new 2023 minivans following research that shows an increased risk of injuries for passengers in the back seat. Health reporter Stephanie Saul joining us now with the results of that testing. Not good. Mm. Not good for these cars, absolutely. Minivans, anyway. This comes from the nonprofit group that conducts those crash tests, giving safety ratings or red flags when potential dangers are spotted. In a new round of crash tests, four types of minivans were smashed into a barrier at 40 miles an hour. The vehicles did a good job of protecting the driver, but all received a low grade for backseat safety. None of the four minivans tested earned an acceptable or good safety rating. The results are disappointing because customers buy minivans to transport their families. Testing from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety found the seat belts in the back either put too much pressure on the chest or slid up, increasing the risk of abdominal injuries. The research says the risk of fatal injury is 46% higher for people in the back of the vehicle. SUVs and mid-sized cars also failed to achieve a good grade in earlier research. But it's important to stress vehicles are not less safe than before. The test is new and exposing the issue for the first time. We expect the automakers to put in better belt technology. The Insurance Institute wants back belts to have the same safety features that are in the front seat. So a pretensioner tightens the belt on the occupant, coupling them to the vehicle and helping them ride down the crash, and the load limiter reduces the forces on the chest. The IIHS says those improvements can make these vehicles even safer. And automakers say they are reviewing the findings, adding that safety is a top priority and their vehicles meet or exceed federal safety standards. We have a lot more information and a link to that testing for you at CBSPhiladelphia.com.